Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a side-by-side -side box plot in SPSS. I'll be using the GSS 2012 data, which you can probably find also by googling if you want to follow along. To create a side-by-side -side box plot, go for a graphs chart builder or legacy dialogues and then box plot, but I'll be using the chart builder in this case. They ask for if you set up the measurement levels appropriately. Uh, I've done that and they're up here. So click on OK. I just created another chart, so I'm going to reset this one and go for box plot. Then a simple one, and drag it up there. It asks the x axis, that's the one that defines the groups. Uh, I'm going to be using the gender of the first respondent. So I want to compare those, that goes in there. And then uh, what is it that actually needs to be looked at? That's the age of the respondent, which is somewhere in the beginning. There we go. And it goes in there. Click on OK. And actually that's it. You now nicely get a side-by-side -side box plot. What do you actually see in a box plot? Well, there are four horizontal lines. Uh, sorry, five. The lowest one gets a horizontal line. The first quartile, so between this value and this value, there's 25%. The median, that's the item in the middle. So 50% is higher or equal to the median. So this whole area makes up 25, uh, 50%. This is the third quartile, and this is the last quartile, the maximum. Now on some box plots you actually see also some individual circles up here, uh, which means that they are very unusual scores, uh, also known as outliers, depending on the definition. Um, uh, but it seems that I don't have any of those. 